Well, you had a great class, and uh, I'm glad you brought in your two uh, S-shaped chairs that your daughter designed. Yes, she did. So tell design. me a little bit about these. Um, first of all, tell me a little bit about how they were designed, and then we'll go from there. Um, well, my daughter's gone into year seven this year, so we decided that it was time to make her room into a big girl's room. Mm -hmm. So we made her a white concrete uh, table out of um, True's uh, glass mix. Mm -hmm. And that was great. And I put an old white table uh, chair beside it, and she wasn't happy with that. So she came to me, asked me if I could make her an S chair. So that's how the design came along. Um, and then, yeah, we made two, um, and we made one out of the espresso colour out of the uh, sand mix, uh, pre bag mix, and we made one out of the glass pre bag mix. So this is the uh, glass pre bag mix. So yep. All the, all the aggregate in here is the recycled glass. Recycled yeah, glass. It's nice and bright and white. Yep. Um, so she designed it. She designed them. I just had to make them. So you made the mold. Made the um, mold. Very interesting design. How how is it to? Um, it's a complex mold. It's not easy. Yeah. No. I found a product that I could bend mm -hmm. into an S shape, which made it a lot easier. But there was still a lot of routing. Sure. There was still a lot of different changes, and um, yeah, so yeah, it wasn't fun. It was fun. I so one mold did two chairs, or did you do one? One mold's done three chairs now. Oh, so okay. I'd done three chairs because I wanted to make sure that it was going to be strong enough. So mm -hmm. we actually tested the first chair to failure. We put 150 kilos of bag weight straight on top, mm -hmm. uh, which held quite nicely. Then I took it to a mate's place which has got uh, a weight drop, and we tested it in the middle. Mm -hmm. And we started half a meter with 100 kilos, which was fine. We went to one meter, wow. 100 kilos, fine, but that was on this part here. Right. Then we went to a meter and a half, it was fine. Then we went to half a meter, right on the edge, and it failed. Sure, but it's not designed for that. No, no, no. so um, it's That's an incredible strong. amount. Of it's a oh, huge amount. So I would stand on them to change a light bulb. Oh, fantastic. Well, so, that's great. What did you do inside? Did you use scrim at all? Yes, I used two layers of scrim because I didn't know, as it being an S, the tension and the compression mm -hmm. are different. Okay. So I put one close to the bottom mm -hmm. and one close to the top. Oh, fantastic. Mm -hmm. So casting it went fine? Ah, it was good. It was, they're a pack effect, um, so they do have veins in them. And I wanted with the espresso one with the white sand, grinded back to see the white sand, because mm -hmm. I think it's superb. Um, with the glass one, it's basically a white on white mm -hmm. to show the, the glass in as well. Yeah, they're beautiful, and they're a great height. I'm sitting on one right now, and it's it's perfect. Yeah, I like it. Daughter likes them. I suppose that's the main thing. That is the main thing. Very cool. Glad you could share that with us. Thank you very much. Yeah, people seem to be really excited about seeing them this this week. Well, I suppose in the long, long run, I suppose that they come down to you starting me off, possibly two and a half years ago, with your mixed cow playlist. Uh -huh. So realistically, they'll probably come back to you some way. Everything always goes around, comes around, right? That's it. Yep. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thanks a lot. No worries.